How do you create these nice looking headers with ASCII fonts for your bash scripts? Try another font. Let's use Bubble. I use Xclip to get access to my clipboard on my system. Hello everybody, welcome to my channel. I receive a comment on my YouTube channel. Hey Stefan, how do you create these nice looking headers with ASCII fonts for your bash scripts? Let me show you how it works, it's easy. To create the ASCII fonts for my bash scripts, I use the application Figlet. You come to the homepage of the tool um, with figlet.org, but there are also several other ASCII tools available. There's a dedicated website in the Arch Linux Wiki where all these applications and softwares are listed. But I prefer, as I said, I prefer Figlet. You can install Figlet with the following command, sudo pacman-s figlet here on my Arch Linux. On my system, it's already installed. Uh, on your system, or if you use another uh, Linux distribution, there should be also um, other installation scripts available to install Figlet. For me, it's as said, it's already done. Okay, how does it work? I can enter in my terminal the command Figlet, then the world that I want to transform into an ASCII code. Let me use this is Figlet as an example. And you see this is the outcome that Figlet generates. A very nice ASCII font. To get all available parameters, you can use the help page, Figlet dash H. You see it's super easy and it's also very well documented on, on the homepage of figlet.org. Let's try another example. Let's change the font with Figlet. Dash F script. And again, this is Figlet. And you see here another font has been used by the script. Or oh, let's try another font. Let's use Bubble. You can get an overview of all of the available fonts here in the font database. Uh, hundreds of fonts are available that you can use with your script. The next thing that I want to show you is that you can also pipe outputs from other commands into Figlet. For example, let's take the date and pipe it into Figlet. And now you have an ASCII formatted output of the current date. And you can also write the output of Figlet directly into another text file with Figlet. This is Figlet into the file slash test.txt, for example. And when I open the file with Vim, you can see the output of Figlet has been written directly into this separate text file. But now let's come to the use case of creating that header section for bash scripts. To do this, let me create first an empty text file with v. v is my alias for Vim. And I call it myscript.sh. Here is my script and I add here and I add here one command echo hello world. Okay, let's make it executable with change mod plus x my script dot sh. Okay, the script is now executable. You see it here. And let's test the script and hello world as expected. Okay, and for this script, we want to create a header. And to do this, I have created a bash script. Let's open the file with in my dot files directory scripts figlet. Yeah, and this is the bash script that I use. Um, also, this bash script has on top um, 
that custom header that I use for all of my scripts. And this header will be can be generated with these few lines of code. First one is that I ask to enter the string that should be transformed with figlet. Then figlet use this entered text and writes the outcome into a separate text file called figlet.txt. Then I add below that text that in the text file figlet.txt an empty line. Then I create an additional line uh, with my name. Um, you can add lines within a text file by using these greater than symbols. Then additional line with that nice separator line. And then I add to every line that hash sign. Yeah, because this is then later on here. Uh, the comment and everything what is behind the comment will not be executed in the bash script. Here I use xclip to get access to my clipboard on my system and I write the content from the figlet.txt into my clipboard and I confirm that with the echo text copied to clipboard. Okay, let's see it in action. I close the editor. And I start here in my case the command ASCII. ASCII is an alias for the figlet.sh script. And I enter the command. This is my test. And the text has been copied to the clipboard. Let's open a separate terminal and open my script file. And I can enter this header directly from the clipboard to that file and I can save it and it's done. And you have this fancy and nice looking ASCII based header for your script. You can find all the links to the scripts as always in the description of that video. And if you have questions, don't hesitate to add a comment to that video. And with that, thanks for watching and see you next time.